All right. In this particular video, we're going to begin looking at the most basic of modding techniques. Basically, installing an actual mod. Now, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch because A, that's one of the most popular mods on the workshop, and B, it's quite necessary. After all, Skyrim is still a Bethesda game. Alright, step one to downloading any mod is to first find the mod on the Skyrim Nexus. Thankfully, Mod Organizer 2 has a special button built in to help with this. Hitting this button will immediately take you to the Skyrim Nexus, where then you can search for your mod. In this case, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Once the mod has loaded, you need to then read the description very carefully. This serves a couple of purposes. First, you need to make sure there are no mod conflicts, and you also ought to know what all the features are, any special actions you need to perform in-game, and in general, any other information the author wants you to know. I've already read this description thoroughly, so I'm ready to go over to the Files tab. Alright, now, if you downloaded Mod Organizer 2 from Skyrim Nexus, you may notice a slight difference with this download page you now have a new option to Mod Manager Download. If you associated Mod Organizer 2 with Skyrim Nexus links, you should be able to use this button to bypass filling your computer's downloads folder full of mods to just download the mods directly into Mod Organizer 2. If you hit this button, it should take you to the slow or fast download page. On this page, you of course again have the option to either slow download or fast download only if you have a premium account. In this case, if you slow download, the timer will start, and then your browser should ask you whether you want to open a link proxy. If you allow this, this will allow the mod to download directly to Mod Organizer. Once you're back in Mod Organizer, if you go to the Downloads tab, you should see a download in progress, complete with a status bar showing how far along your download is. Once the mod has finished downloading, you should then be able to simply double click on it to open up the package manager. Here, if you look at it, you have the option to change the name the mod will be installed under, cancel it, and then you have two buttons, OK and Manual. I will always recommend hitting Manual. The reason for this is that you want to check the packaging of the mod. Right now, this mod is packaged correctly. Mod Organizer says looks good. However, some mods that are not packaged correctly will give you a red-worded error. I will show you how to get around that another time, but for now you want to make sure your mod is packaged this way. Once you've confirmed that it's correct, if you hit OK, Mod Organizer will begin extrapolating the mod and preparing it for use and then it should appear in the left pane. You'll want to enable the checkbox over here, check your plugins and make sure it's enabled over here, and if it is, congratulations, you've installed your first mod. All right, in the next video, we'll begin talking about SKSE64, the helpful tool that you ought to install and some of the cool mods that can be used with it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.